Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to my tutorial for my Triceratops. Very cute. Only needs one loom. Okay. This guy is dedicated to Jade Allen. So Jade, I hope you make him and I hope you love him. So check out um, the description for the band count. Okay, he even stands up without wire, so it's pretty cool. Alright. Um, I'm going to be using the solar green bands for his body. And we're going to start with his crest, or his uh, headpiece here. So we're going to start with that part. Okay, so let's take two bands at a time. bands here, not double looped. Push down here. Put two there. And we'll put two here as well. Just hanging off there. So now I'm going to take a band, wrap it around, creating five loops. Take two bands onto your hook and pull that onto those two bands, grab the loops on the other side, this goes here, okay, make another one, okay, that goes here, another one, that goes there, and Another will go right here. Okay. As we loop, we're going to be attaching some spots onto it. Okay, so we're going to loop like this. Deep down here. To find the two diagonals. And then loop up here. And here. Okay, I'm going to put one on here. So I'm going to take whatever your spot color is, wrap it around creating five loops. And as you loop up this guy, we'll pull that on there. I'm putting a couple extra spots on this guy's headpiece. Okay, I'm going to loop up once, and then I'm going to put another one on. Here I'll attach another. Like that. Okay, I'm going to take a green band and just tie off here. All those bands are now tied off by that green band. I'm going to take this off. Alright, so now we're going to do the other half. This is only half of it. Tug those loose bands outward. Okay. Okay.
Okay, now I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to go through this section here and wrap it around here. Alright, then I'm going to grab these two bands, wrap them around this guy. These two I'll wrap around this guy. These two I'll wrap around these guys. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to attach more of the ridges onto here. So wrap a band around, creating five loops. Take two bands onto there. Reclaim. Wrap around and turn. that. Okay, and then this, we want to attach this end to here too. So we want to go through, oh, let's wait to do that. We'll do this part first. All right, so I'm going to dig down here, up, dig down here, up, loop up here, all right, I'm going to attach another spot, to here, Okay, I'm going to lift up a little bit, just a little, okay, and I want to take this end with the tied band, and I want to go through all those loops. tricky because it's hard to see exactly what loops this guy is going through. There we go. So we go through all those loops. And wrap them around here. this guy and then we're going to take another well we're going to take this tying band off take this guy off and then we're going to take two we'll go through all of them whoops grab the loop loop up and over Okay, so there's your headpiece. Okay, great. So now we're going to do the face of the head. Okay. So I'm going to change this to offset.
Okay. Do two bands at a time. These are stretched from here to here, not here to here, here to here. Take your hook, wrap one around, creating five loops, then take three. Pull that onto there. Be clean. And this will get wrapped right around this peg here. Okay. Nostrils color, so black. Two, three, four. Okay, wrap black around your hook, creating four loops. Double loop. A green color and pull the nostrils onto there. Okay, spread apart, bring down like that. Okay. I'm gonna take two greens, put them here and two here. I'm going to make the horns. So I'm going to take a white, wrap it, creating five loops around my hook. Oops. All right, and then I'm going to take six double looped whites. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and I'm going to make another one. So you should have two, two of those. Alright, two of them, and then I'm going to take two green bands, pull them on, loop them around these two pegs, spread them apart, grab two, put them there. Like that. Actually, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Can I have them down forward more? Let's actually put it. Let's do it so they're like this, like that instead. Okay. So I'll go around that peg. All right. Now we're gonna do the eyes. Take your green band, wrap it around, creating five loops. And another double loop of green. Push down on your hook, put your finger through that side. Then you're going to take an eye color. I'm going to use the dark solar blue. Okay. I'm going to wrap around, creating four loops, and we're going to take a black, wrap that around, creating four loops, take two of the blue loops onto the other side of the black, grab that green back onto your hook so it looks like that, push that down, and we want to make another one. 
So one, two, three, four, five. A little tricky. Two, three, four, five. Use a second hook if you have to, but I'm just going to do it this way. Okay. Oh, wait, no, first we need the blue. Okay, so now we're pulling all the bands onto those two green bands. And my hands are sweaty, so it's tough for me. I love the way I do my dinosaur eyes. They look so cool, I think. Hee <laughs> hee. So I attach the loops around these two pegs. I'm going to spread the eyes apart. Take two of the loops from between them and bring it all the way down over here. Okay, so it's between these three. You can flip the eye so it's right side up. Okay, we're going to start looping. Um, we need to attach his little nose spike pretty soon. So we're going to loop that. And we're going to loop that. Okay, now I'm going to take white band, wrap it around creating five loops, double loop of white, pull that on there, reclaim, take another. Alright, now we're going to grab the dude. Little tricky dude. Okay, I'm gonna pull that spike onto there. Okay, and we're gonna loop it over. Okay, now I'm gonna dig down about these guys. Don't grab the eye bands here, grab the, just the verticals. Okay, go to there. Go to here. And here, so right here, here, and here. I'm gonna take your headpiece, flip it down. We're gonna go through these four loops here. So you have the tied band one, two. Wrap around here, loop up. Same thing on the other side. So tied band one set, two set. Open them up, wrap around, loop up. I'm going to push my horns through so they're not um, wrong side, so horns are forward. Okay, for this final set, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two loops and wrap them twice around there. So, grab those two loops of the tied bands, and I'm going to wrap them once, and twice around. Hey. So we're just twisting them around there twice and then looping up. Alright, so now I'm going to tie off these three ends with any color. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to use black. Okay, 
So now we want to push things where they go. So this horn nose spike we push up. The eyes we want to lift up so the eyebrows are up. Okay, just like that. So there is his adorable little head. Oh, look at him. Roar. Okay, let's do the bottom jaw. Okay, so now we'll take two at a time again. Luckily, the bottom draws a little easier. <laughs> double loop. Like that. We'll double loop here, and then we'll take two here. Alright, take a band on your hook, wrap it around creating five loops. Then we'll double loop, hold it on, reclaim and wrap this right around this peg. Oh my gosh, these solar bands are so slippery. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start to loom. Grab the top two diagonals. Try that again. Okay, anyway, grab the top two diagonals. Alright, now I'm going to go to the center. Okay, I'm going to loop up. Okay, here I'm going to attach a tongue, so I will be using my pink solar band. Okay, so I'm going to wrap one around, creating five loops. Then I'm going to double loop five times to that, so there's one, two, Three, four, five. Okay, and as I loop this final guy, I'm going to pull that tongue onto there. Okay, top. Right, I'm going to loop up once on this side and once on this side. Grab your guy. So now we're going to attach, we're going to count three sets back from the end. So one, two, three. Go through the four loops, open them up to there, around that peg. Loop up. Same thing on the other side. So one, two, three. Okay, now we're going to go through the next setup here. Now let's lift up a little bit, just a little. Okay, all right, I'm going to go through the next four loops. Wrap around and loop up, same thing here. Okay, I'm going to I do tying bands there too, but I'm going to use a different color, so that's easier to tell the difference later. So I'm going to use purple, because I used black for the top part, so now I'm going to use purple here.
There's your guy's head. Aw, he's so cute. Alright, let's do his legs. Okay, so change this back. To rectangular configuration. Alright, let's do the legs now. Taking two at a time. I'm going to start with the front legs. Double loop, double loop, double loop, double loop, double loop. Okay, let's do his little foot. So I'm going to take my toenail color, whatever color you want to use for that, wrap around creating five loops, push down, then take the green. Pull that onto there. Okay, that's one toe. We need to make three more. Two. And four. All right, we'll double loop another band and pull those toes onto that double looped band. Fingers through the loop here. Take two, one, two, three, then reclaim the loop. Okay, so it looks like that. And we take three bands, one, two, three, onto your hook and pull all the other bands onto those three bands and reclaim the loops. So you have a little foot here. Okay, little foot. Okay, you want to make four. Four feet. Okay, I have already made two legs so that's why I only have two feet here. Anyway, so you want to attach that foot onto here. And then we'll dig down and loop up, make sure all these loops stay around. And I'm going to go up to here, and I'm going to take a spot color. Again.
All right, so there's a foot. Okay, you want to make a second one. Well, first let's stick our hook through here. Tug on it like that. Okay, so you want to make two. Okay. They're opposites, so you can mirror your foot. Okay. So we have our head and our two front feet. Let's do the back feet now. Or the back leg. Rather. Back leg's a little thicker. Okay, take that foot, wrap it around, we'll dig down, and now we can go all the way up this column. And here we can go up, grab these diagonals. Okay, take a spot color. Okay, so there is a back clay, and again, you need to make a second one. Okay. All right, now we're going to do the body. So this to be done in two parts. Actually, let's move this one. I'll go like this.
Okay, take two bands. Get it sewn for the horizontals. Double loop. Okay, I'm going to push down the edges here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the band and wrap it twice around each peg. So there's two loops. It creates two loops on the peg. Just on the edge pegs here. going to be our way of attaching the one side to the other. Okay, just like that. Alright, so now I'm going to take my his head, okay, just the head, the top three bands, the black bands, this center band, center set, is going to go around this peg, okay, and this set here is going to go around this peg. The other set on this side is loose. You see, that's loose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop up this column. Is it there? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my front leg like this, foot is facing the head, spots are on top, go through a set of loops here, and these will go right around this peg, and then the second set of loops will go around this peg, okay, like, like that. Then I will go in here and loop up once, and go down here, loop up this guy, okay. I'm going to take my back leg, okay, like this. This is going to be attached to these three pegs here. So I'm going to wrap this guy around. Next set, loops go around there. Final set loops go around there. Okay. I'm going to very carefully loop these guys because we don't want to undo these double looped guys or the, these bands that we wrapped around the edge. I want to make sure we don't get them tangled up in there. Whoops. Just make sure I didn't tangle those in there. Okay, tie off your end here. Okay, so this 
is half of the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the tying bands around the leg, back leg and the front leg. Okay, the rest of them are staying on for now. Okay, so now we have these doubled horizontals which we will be using to attach the first side to the second. Alright, but anyway. So first, let's lay down the bands for the other side. Okie doke. So it's essentially the opposite of what we just did, pretty much. And that's my happy doggy upstairs. Double loop here. Okay. My edges here. Okay, so now we're going to take that same middle end that we attached to the other side. We'll go through those loops again. And we're going to attach them. Go through those same loops again and attach them to this side. Okay, and then the other end will go. Oops. We'll go around here. Oops. Make sure you get all those loops around, though. Very important. Okay. Alright, great. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop up this guy, or this, um, comb first. Okay. So... <clears throat> What I have to do now is I have to dig in here and find that double looped, that double band, the first one that we put on the other side with the 
fan wrapped around twice. Wrap around there. Okay. Now I'm going to loop up that one. That. Oh, wait, you know what? No, I'm not. And what we're going to do... Actually, yeah, let's do that. Wrap the one. Okay, just so that I don't confuse you. Alright, I'm going to go grab the other front leg and I'm going to attach here and here. And I'm going to grab the other back leg and attach it here and here and here. Okay. Now I'm going to loop up that column. Okay, but you know what? I'm going to undo this set. <clears throat> undo this set. Okay. Okay, now. I'm going to put some back um, ridges on his back here. See the white row? But you do not have to. <clears throat> so you're just going to follow it as if I'm not doing these little white bands, okay? But if you want to, you wrap a band around creating, what did I do, four or five loops. Not that it matters that much, but I did four loops, so I'm going to do that on this guy too. So wrap it around creating four loops. Then you're going to take the next set of that of those double bands. Okay, pull that onto there. And then wrap that around the next set in line. And then I loop. Okay, I'm gonna lift up a set from here so that it doesn't overstretch. Okay, and I'm gonna do it again. So now I'm gonna take another white band. After I'm creating four loops, grab the next double looped band in there and pull that onto there. Wrap that around the next loop. Loop up. Okay, so now I can lift up another set. Right, so I'm going to do it again. Make sure you don't miss any. It's very important, otherwise your guy's going to be crooked. And we don't want a crooked guy. Okay, after each time you just lift up a set. Come on. Try not to twist them either. Put them on straight. See, he's slowly, slowly coming together as we go. Oops. Make sure you grab the right. Loops.
We don't want to forget that these guys here are on the loop too. Don't forget that. If I forget, hopefully I won't. Yeah, so cute. Coming together. Okay, let's take a wait. Alright, so there's two more. Let's attach this guy to here. Then what we want to do is we want to loop up this guy and then this guy here. Okay, then I can lift off from this peg. Okay, we have one more. This is the tricky part, so I'm creating four leaps. Okay, so we grab the last one. This goes all the way around to this guy. Very tricky. <laughs> And this loops up, and then this loops over. Do not forget to loop that over. Then we loop up this guy and tie him off. And we can lift off the rest of them. Okay, we have a mean, mean body done. Okay, so I can take off all the tying bands around the legs on the other side. And also around the top of the neck. Okay, so now what we're going to do his tail, and then we just have to do his stomach. Okay. Alright, so the tail... Okay, I'm going to take three bands. Here. Three here. Three here. And three here. And I'm going to do two at a time. All right, now I'm going to double loop across here to Three and one more. Okay, and now I'm going to wrap around creating four loops with the white. Double loop the green. Pull it on.
Okay, so now you're going to take your dinosaur and we're going to attach these two ends to these two pegs that we want to take off the tying bands as we attach them. Okay, so very you want to be very careful here. Okay, wrap around and push down. Same thing here. Okay, I'm going to put a white band around, wrapping it four times. Okay, this is a little tricky because take a pencil if you don't take a pencil or some other holding hook. Because what you want to do is you want to lift up the top two loops off of here and the top two loops off of here so that we can attach this onto there. Otherwise it's going to have a gap between the spike things and it's going to look weird. It's very important to do that, especially if you're doing the uh, white spike thing on it. Okay, and you put the loops back on, and you loop up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my hook through the end here whilst I lift it off. And I'm going to take yeah, okay. three more green, pull them on. And grab, and then we're going to double loop three times. So one, two, three. Then we're going to do a slip knot like that. Okay, now we can hide that slip knot into the tail. Oops. You're zigzagging it back and forth until it disappears in there. Okay, so you can just hide that in there. Now we're going to do the stomach. Okay, almost there. So I'm going to do a white stomach. And we're going to take two bands at a time going all the way straight down here.
All right, now I'm going to push down all the edges. And we're going to take our triceratops and we're going to attach the chin ends to these three pegs. Okay. Doesn't really matter which direct like which direction the head is facing when you attach. I kind of like to do it this way. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take those body color bands and we're going to just lay one on each edge peg. Except the one at the top. Okay, and now I'm going to dig down, oops, this side, Alright, now we'll do this side. Oops. Hold on, I want to make sure this isn't messed up because that's the worst when you have one of these that are like messed up. There we go. Okay, take two green bands, pull them through, do a slip knot, make sure that's nice and tight. Okay, we're going to take off the tying bands here. Make sure the tongue is inside the mouth. All right, so now we're going to attach the stomach. So first, make sure all these green bands are pulled out to the edge. The two sides. Okay. All right, here we go. This is the fun part. So now we're going to lay it on. We're going to turn them over. I'm going to go through the first set here. Okay. So it's the one that's not attached to the headpiece, the one right after it. You're going to go through those loops, pull the first loose loop through, and push down on your hook. Then go through the next set of loops and pull the next loop through that set as well as the first loop. Push that down. And here, do this. Here. Okay, so we're just going in order. All the way down.
All right, and this last one, we'll just go through the side of the tail here. We'll pull one of those tied bands through as the last set. All right, now you want to use a pencil or something to hold that there whilst we do the other side. Okay, so I'm going to go through the other side. Been there. I pulled two through because there was a loose one that I didn't attach to the body. It's not a good deal. Now, as I go, I want to stuff them up, so I use the poly fiber fill stuff. You can use cotton balls, tissues, paper towels, but they're not as good because if it gets wet, it'll kind of ruin it, so poly fill is the best thing to use. You can get it at craft stores and such. Okay, so we're just continuing. And then if you put a little more in there before you close it up. Okay, then we want to grab that other tying band. Yep, right there. Pull that through. Grab them both on to your hook now. We have the two final bands. Now you want to take a seat clip. Okay, seat clip. Grab them both with your finger. Go into the body and come out near where they are. Grab them both. Pull them through. Seat clip them. Hook them back in. And there you have your adorable, adorable Triceratops guy. Yay! Wow, he's so cute! He's, he's my favorite dinosaur so far. I do like the T-Rex too, but he's very cute. Okay, and mine is a solar guy, so he should change color in the sun. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you enjoyed. And Jade, I hope you enjoyed too. Okay, show me pictures of your Triceratops on Facebook and Instagram, okay? See the links in the description, hopefully they work, because sometimes they're funky. <laughs> Alright, and uh, follow me on there, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you have a wonderful day, everyone, and enjoy your Triceratops. See you soon. Bye!